made possible through support from the ARC of Aurora, PASCO, Personal Assistance Services of Colorado, and Developmental Pathways. Think Change Talks. Nearly 40 million caregivers in the U.S. provide care to adults with a disability or illness. Caregiving Across the Continuum, a series of different perspectives. An adoptive caregiver's perspective. Cabin! Yeah. The cabin. That was fun, huh? Yes. Was that a lot of fun at the cabin? Well, I am Pat Cox, and this is Nikisha. This is my daughter. And she has, I've had Nikisha since she was four months old. And she is eligible for all of the services because she's physically and mentally disabled. So, I am her caregiver. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she was probably like close to a year and a half older. Almost two there. I love taking care of Nikisha. I love spending time with Nikisha. I'm fun. She is fun. Which one's your favorite movie? Mm -hmm. This one. See? Movie. Nikisha would love to be on the go 24-7, but she her body wears out, so she gets really tired. Uh, so we go can't go. do 24-7 being on the go. But she would love to. It's hard for her. Yeah. She has a lot of doctor's appointments and just a lot of, of things going on with her. Prior to me being able to be her CNA, I mean, I've always, obviously, I've always taken care of her, but she's been eligible for a CNA since she was like two. And other people would come in our home and they couldn't take care of her the way I thought she should be being taken care of. And so I'm really fortunate to have the job I have with the company I have because I'm allowed to do that. Um, but it's, it's hard hard sometimes because it never stops you know you've got to make doctor's appointments you've got to get her to the doctor you've got to make sure they understand what's going on I mean I have fought with doctors in the past because they don't get the severity of stuff sometimes and there's a lot going on and so it's it's advocating for her always it's a 24-hour day job I, I look at her and I just see this girl who literally, when she was four months old, they told me, they placed her with me, social services placed her with me, and said it's short term and that's because they thought she was going to die. And they said she'll never walk, she'll never talk, she'll never, and she's amazing. Yes. <laughs> so I'm proud of her. <laughs> huh? Yes. Yes. Are you proud of you? I am. Mm. Yes. What are you proud of? Everything. Everything. <laughs> proud of she's, mom. She's you're proud of your mom? Yes. Why are you proud of your mom? Um, you guys just helped me. I help you? Yeah. Yeah. I do help you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give up on everything because sometimes it gets overwhelming and you just sort of want to say take this person I can't deal with it no because I think a lot of people do that they they figure putting somebody somewhere else or you know whatever is easier and it's not always easier you just have to tough it out huh yes yes <laughs> If you are a caregiver, contact the Family Caregiver Alliance at 800-445-8106 or www.caregiver.org for resources and support. Think Change. Talks, trainings, and tools to help in your work for or with people with intellectual and other developmental disabilities. Learn more at www.thinkchange.training.